Hey guys, this is Crap Hunter, and welcome to Total War Attila. Yes, big horse in the front there. So you, as you can see, ah, oh, it's so awesome. Anyway, sorry, I'm kind of getting over the fact that I've still got it. Um, yeah. So basically, Attila is out. It's been out for like a couple of weeks, and I recently caved in and got it. Um, th during my holiday, there was lots of videos on YouTube uh, that was coming out about Attila. I think it was like coming very close to the release of it, and I was like, "Ooh, Attila! No, I better not. Better not. Better not. You know, it's ex it's going to be expensive. It's not going to be cheap. Blah 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 blah." And then, unfortunately, a number of uh, of uh, YouTubers who I follow, um, I can't pro I can't pronounce their YouTube name because I don't really know. But basically, it's a bunch of guys who do like an epic series of battles. They released a number of videos showing the settlements in this game, and I just caved right there and then because just the graphical design of this game is just oh so good. Mm. Anyway, enough of my personal preferences. We are going to be doing a campaign in Total War Attila. A couple of warnings from the start. First of all, um, for all you historical buffs out there, I do immensely appreciate how much you like probably pronouncing certain parts of Europe that were historically correct at that time. They're historically correct names. Unfortunately, I'm not so good with this particular part of my history. In fact, I'm rather shit. So I will probably, for ease of my head and probably for a few other people, just call the countries that I see by their modern names nowadays, so apologies for that. Sounds a bit stupid, but I've had a number of comments um, in previous campaigns saying, It's not France, it's Guelier, or something like that. It's like, use your historical names, and I'm like, I don't know them. But anyway, so that's the first warning. Second warning, I'm not the greatest Total War player out there, so I probably will make a few mistakes, uh, as this is going to be my first proper campaign in a Total War Attila. I have had a couple of goes, don't worry, at the prologue campaign, which was really awesome. Um, so I've rem I remember a fair amount of the stuff that's going into it, and fingers crossed we'll be able to have some pretty awesome time. So, which is the faction that I shall choose to go with? Well, I had a look at the original roster of, of the factions, which is the Barbarians, the Migrators, the Nomadics, obviously the Roman Empires. Now, I originally wanted to go as the Western Roman Empire because A, Rome, I love Rome, it's brilliant, but I know it will take me a few campaigns before I can try and be Rome. And I'm not such a big fan of the Eastern Empires. It's no offense, it's nothing against them, it's just I prefer Western side of Europe to fight in. I just like fighting in the Western side of Europe. Though I will probably do that at some point, it does seem interesting. But yeah, I mean, apart from the Saxons, I didn't really think, I, I wasn't too sure what to really, I was like, the Saxons are alright, but not really what I want to go with. So, I decided to buy one of the DLCs, and this is our faction. This, they are called the Langobeards, and they are considered, yeah, the tribe face the Vandals, their god, god and declared. So basically, these guys are, I don't think they're the direct descendants, this is, yeah, these technically are the direct descendants of um, Swabia, but um, I kind of wanted it, yeah, I, I kind of liked it, this one. I, I, I like the eye patch, in all honesty. Sorry to sound really shitty, but <laughs> eye patch. No, but it, it's looking good. I, I like this faction. I, they they seem to have a little bit of a... They actually seem like an actual um, better traits and everything. So, you know, I like these guys. I'll see what I can do with them. So, this is the faction we're going with. So, what is our... Yeah, that seems perfect. And our objectives are as such. I'm going to go for a minor victory. See if I can do that. Uh, survive till 1425. Control 30 settlements. Maintain two controlling provinces. Loot or sack. Um, research 10 tech, earn the following income from raiding and doing stuff. Hopefully I can raid a fair amount, but I don't know quite how to do that, but who knows. Anyway, um, so without further ado, let's charge into the fray and start the campaign. Let's see if we got an introduction move. <laughs> Dat face. <laughs> he must be from the Sassanids. Very much looking forward to this, I'm not going to lie, it's really awesome. Oh, no, are they Eastern Roman Empire? Because I can just see on the top there. Possibly. Yeah. 
taken a bit of a while to load. Unfortunately, my PC has a habit of taking a while for the first time, and then afterwards, it's always perfect. Nearly there. Don't worry. So, definitely, I'm not too sure how it goes, because this is the first time I've actually done anything with these new DLC factions. So, fingers crossed it all works out. Um... Not entirely sure how best to do stuff, but still, I'm looking forward, nonetheless, to having a crack at destroying Rome. Because, technically, I still haven't conquered the southern regions in my Germanic faction. <laughs> That's always been a bit of a bit of an empty gap there in our total war history. So, oh. Ooh. The air was filled with smoke and blood. One hell of a stag do. Rome was weak. That too. The tribes grew in strength and number. Their roots went deep, and they felt the earth's blood pounding through the land. Very nice looking settlement. But their borders were threatened, for a great storm raged in the east. One by one, the tribes scattered as seeds in the wind. And behold, a red horse, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. The blood of their kin would be avenged. Nice. Hunters, they tempered their blades in Roman blood and saw their once mighty walls reduced to dust. They made ready for war. Awesome cutscene. You see, what I've always liked about the um, what I've always liked about the Total War series is every cutscene they had. Actually, you no. Know, with the exception the of, of the oh. great god okay. has left its mark on the Langobards. Your name and even your appearance pays tribute to his wisdom. Like him, you will have to rely on wit and diplomacy to compensate for your inferior power in these troubled times. Already your silver tongue has earned the approval of your Germanic neighbors. All you need do is pick the mightiest ally. The Franks to the north are powerful and well disposed to you, as are the neighboring Alemanni. In order to demonstrate your worth, consider eradicating the vandals that pillage these lands. At the end of the road, a great prize beckons. Godan has revealed the coming of a great Langobard Empire in Rome. And they may ready for war. Survive until the following spring. Okay, cool. So, here we are. We are in Europa. And we are just underneath Turfledom. Okay, so... Not quite at Swaby Lands, but not bad. Uh, yes, that will totally be useful. Let's go military. Thirsty for battle. <laughs> like the eye patch on this guy. I don't know why. Oh, wow. Young wolves. What are these guys? Let's have a look. Young wolves. Basically berserkers. Horse hewers. Okay, so they seem to be really good against cavalry, but nothing else. Aha! We have bowmen. orders. Right. Can we expand? No, we need a surplus. Uh, standing stone or... Oh, we have a sacred ground. So we either have some... of them... Or we can have a sacred grove. Surprised it cost us 20 food. But actually provides sanitation as well. Which is kind of helpful. But then again, extra popular. Um, I would say this is... Oh, we only have 5k. Okay. Maybe not. 
are we doing for food production wise? Uh, we have a fair amount. No, that's not food. Oh, food for surplus. Right. We don't really have the ability to consume any more food. So for the time being, I guess. What would probably. That's our allies over there, whereas they are. Let's have a look at our diplomatic status. So. Saxons. We've had treaties with people they don't like, but. Varians. They like us a lot, apparently. Thuringans. Whatever the hell they are. They are good, and apparently we can trade with them. I might. Greetings, friend. Non aggression pact. Whatever you wish. And we trade agreement. Following a new agreement. Huzzah! Right. So they're good. You guys. So you, we're trading with them. You. Eh. Greetings. Non-aggression pact. Plainly. Will you not give our people a little gold? You have much. It's nice to know that we don't have to worry about it, and soon we can then work together to try and deal with that sort of thing. These guys. Do we have any non? How how are we doing with the Franks? Franks are doing quite well, but we don't have a trade agreement with because we have no port. So that's that. We, so we're going to be earning about one k per turn, which is pretty nice. I might trans. Actually, if I go this way, you're going to be that way. If I transfer you over here, right? I'm going to give my general the rest of my army. I think actually no, you and you, you no, you to you. I'd say is about enough. Oh no. No, we can't have that. Why not? Get on our way. Uh, which one's better, Germanic hunters? Oh, I don't know. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Ready I'm gonna earn a little bit less, but Germanic levy. To do your duty to the tribe? Yeah, Germanic levy. Right. Yeah, two because I like spears. And there's already a couple of Germanic levy in here. We have about 16 out of 20. I'm going to ask for a couple more just so that way we can have... Um, yeah, so we can get a couple in so that way we can have at least some form of defense and uh, melee def and cavalry defense against that. That's pretty cool. Right. Uh, governors. I know that they need to issue one, don't they? This panel shows statistics. The family. I don't really have any governors. <laughs> GG. Oh yes, around the side, Emmerich. Right, you, to you. Yes. Huzzah. Right, you are now the governor. Um, not actually helping, is it? Nope. Oh, no, Judgment of Wodan. Civic bonus. Well... For the time being, we can keep up with the civic stuff. I mean, it's only two turns, and it's only like, what, 2% to it? So it's not like we're going to get much. And then what we'll do is, um, once that's come into place, we can then start to perhaps turn, turn around and um, get that all sorted, which is cool. Anyhow, uh, let us save for the first time in our new campaign, the Langobards. Saving. And save to my cloud, cause I'm a paranoid. Right. Awesome. Okay, so let us end this turn. Now, good news is, we're not at war with the Romans. So this does give us a chance to expand our empire a little bit. Encounter some, Ro you know, hopefully encounter some uh, no little, to little, little known uncared faction which will hopefully then give us the resources we need to push on further south. That is a capital, though. Alright, so the populace is happy, which is good. And we have a good summer. The Vandals over yonder. So far, they're nice to us. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Damn it, what's wrong with you? 
Um, okay, so we're going to be earning a fair amount. Oh, we're not going to be earning a fair amount of money. We're losing money on this one. GG. Oh, we've got some cavalry, though, so I'm happy. Uh, Macromanians. They are... Culturally intolerant. Hmm. Cautious, defensive, reliable. Right, okay, so... Not really got much maneuvering room at all, in fact. Can we hire an agent? No, that's the mercenaries. Agents? No, we cannot. Why? We need to build a market stall. Town center. Oh, I see. Right, well, that's kind of settled that then. <laughs> Okay, let's see how let's see how we fare in comparison. Minus change of a turn, politics, king zone. Thirsty for battle. Okay, so nothing really I can do at the moment, though. I mean, I've got no real. Oh would be these guys, wouldn't it, with the nice fancy capital. Uh, I know I've made a trade agreement with those guys. Who have I got when they join you in a war, a war to No. I've got a trade agreement and we've got a non-aggression pact with them. The Alamans we are trading with already and Macromanians. Technically speaking, no one really likes, or no one really is talking to them. So, we might be able to do something about that. Though, they are in a provincial capital. That is a downside. But, that said, for the time being, I don't think I can see any other alternative. Um, respectable. Paganism. Insignificant. Yeah. Right, well, unfor oh, hello, there's Rome. Where's the others? Ah, speaking of which, what's my objectives? Because I kind of knew there was another one, wasn't there? Preparation bonus. Uh, do we not have victory? Ah, there we go. Raheti. It, it is that one. So, in order to achieve a minimal amount of objectives, we need to capture and hold the Roman settlement. G G. Right. Okay. Right. Well. Fair enough. Next turn. Darkness gathers, and you can be the light for my people. I ask humbly. Non-aggression pact, fair enough. It would appear to be the Vandals are currently invading. If they do attack, I will jump on the chance. The gods speak through thunder. Nope. <laughs> I may have to attack you at some point. I want at least a settlement to attack. They've taken a, have they taken a Beijing? I don't think they have. Uh, let's have a look, see, shall we? Um, Woodcarver. Or should I go for... Um, hmm, I wonder. I'd say, yeah, I'd suppose... Two turns, three turns, two... I'd say, um... Oh, yeah, no, that makes sense. I remember this from the campaign... Well, I remember this from the prologue. Woodcarvers are amazing. <laughs> Woodcarvers be awesome. They can... Yeah, these ones, they can help you build... Um, they give you not only Germanic bows, which is nice, they also give you onagers, which is the most awesome unit, because then you don't have to rely on mercenaries which cost you a fair amount. Though a mercenary onager is nice, the upkeep for just one of these units is too much, in all honesty. Might consider, though, getting one, just so that way we can progress down the campaign a little quickly. Right, okay, so, ending the turn. A fair amount of resources. Oh, they're attacking! 
The Vandals are attacking. Now, the question will be, will the Vandals succeed in attacking? Oh. The Ver... <laughs> Alright, the Verinians are gone. Where were the Verinians? I can't remember. Doesn't actually say, does it? Nope, nope. Uh, Burgadins are way over there. Fair enough. Where was Verinian? I've no idea. Right, well. What kind of army is that? That's a 14 out of 20... Wolves of War. This garrison has is currently under siege. You don't actually know. It, actually, no, you can. Um, doesn't actually show how many dudes there are, uh, or how how much would be there. Oh no, you can actually. Okay, yeah. So there is some defenses, but nothing major, which does hold promise. Let's get out of the attrition zone, shall we? Just gonna stand right else? next to your border, cause in case you might be captured. The moment the vandals capture this town, I'm going for it. Just get some ladders or whatever on the line and they'll be like, right! Charge! <laughs> really? Five. Uh. Warriors all. The integrity system I gotta learn how to deal with. It's Ready like we can't charge into battle yet. Calm yourself. It's kind of why I liked. So the thing that was one of the things I wasn't so keen about when it came to the integrity because it's like I appreciate that in real life an army does march on either its stomach or its sort of. It's not really. Um, Oh, do they take it? Do the Vandals take it? They have much more. They have much stronger units. Are they going to win? What's this? Grows restless. His heart yearns for the wilds. Fine sword. Okay, so they're not attacking yet. Why, I don't know. They're still not recruiting. This settlement is now starting to lose all of its strength. They may take it, which is good, because then I can t I take it. I don't know, I'm not too sure. This is. I'm going to try and play a little bit more cautiously in this endeavor, just so that way I've got a fairly, you know, normal-ish chance to do something. And then that way, we can get that wood carver sorted. And then afterwards, somehow get a growth going. Um, that said, I could wait and just get some sanitation going up, so that way we can have some extra growth. As well as adding a bit of more of a religious a religiousness to our faction. Uh, are we trading with them? Might as well trade. It's a good pork roasting for you. Nope, they don't want to trade. Uh, we can't trade with them. Are we trading with everyone we can? It's just them. Oh, snap. Right. I need a port and fast. It's probably... I mean, I don't want to seem harsh, but I actually do want the Vandals to take Ubers. Is, so that way, I don't have to feel... Oh, this is really bad. I got to attack my allies. It's actually no. I can quite happily take this settlement. No problem. Our ancestors have spoken. Nope. Come on, come on. Hey, I can recruit things now. Let's pull it at his hoop. He strides into the forest with the youthful insolently before too long. His progress is very cries of men, the clash of steel bandits are hacking their way through the crowd of travellers. The poet, save the poet, because then you can save the other person. 
Roman logistics, an army marches on its stomach. Yes, that is true. Right, this is good though, because now we can get um, that, I'd say. Yeah, or that. Actually, I'd say that now, because then we can... Right, so once you've finished, well, actually what we can do already is get the woodcarver in. Huzzah! Uh, who has the most upkeep? It is uh, the levy of surprise, surprise. 157. Wow, you don't get much in upkeep, do you? Uh, I think this was the thing that a fair amount of people were talking about. That Are they still... They're, oh, no. I was going to say, they're building? Oh, come on. Really? Just take the settlement already. <laughs> you already have the winning factor. You, pro I mean, I imagined one or two turns would be fine. But to go on for, like, three turns... Ugh. Right, extra integrity and extra skill. And then, come on, 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 come on. Uh, integrity, might as well fortify myself. Might as well then, it also protects me from when winter affects us. Okay, so, end turn. Ostrogoths. They could totally attack. I would have attacked by now. Or are they waiting till that escalation thing goes into play? Come on, come on. Just waiting about now. Oh, come on. They must be in some... Yeah, the settlement is already low... That's good. At least my integrity is going to go up. So that even, you know, beforehand. So... Oh, I was going to go on here. Uh... What can we do? Cannot recruit unit because there's none available. What about you? We can't recruit you there. We're not really earning too much either, which is not so good. But then again, we do, once we've gotten the thing sorted, we can then recruit a bit more. Uh, jeez, the amount of upkeep is ridiculous. It, ironically, these have the best. Um, these have the these have the best apparently when it comes to upkeep. Kind of wish we had cheaper units though, and I really kind of wish we had the smegging turf. Uh, do we have any other people in contact we can speak to? No. Oh wait, no, we can trade. I welcome you, worthy speaker. Trade. I listen because your people are known to Payments. have Payments. I offer the payment of about 400. Yay? No. Damn you. Okay, we'll wait one more turn and then after this I'm going to push over to the left and just give up on them because they are being right assholes now. Nope, they don't attack. <sighs> right, okay. We'll push um we'll push further uh east then. This is taking the mick. Oh, hello. Uh Leading a band of adventurers to end with the word of theme, jealousy, Ambria has to defend upon him. Ham Hang on, so. In exchange for his life, the silver tongue of the fame begets jealousy. The brothers, Ambria has to defend upon him as the head, the head of a countless host, glittering with steel and malice. I think a clash of wills. Hopefully he. Be the smart person. All right, so the winter has set in, and still the integrity is doing well because I think we just rest. I uh, think we're at four to five. Hey, right, so that's sorted. Um, we could potentially research that, or we can. I think yeah, let's go to a militarized society next because then we can earn ourselves a bit. Right, okay. Sorry to disturb our really nice and pleasant 
requirements. Edicts can be issued to any province where you have assigned a governor. Right. Lasting for the duration of his governorship, oh. they have powerful effects such as increased income and food, or improved public order. The no yeah, they're, they're not going to attack, are they? Well, they will, but it's going to take them God knows how long before the actual minimum number of breaches won. Like, if they go for it, fine, but it's like, they're taking forever, and it's just... Come on! I know when you don't have catapults, it's really difficult to take a provincial capital, but Jesus Christ! I apologize, guys. This is the... F I mean, th as I said, this is my first campaign on this, so obviously there's a few things I've yet to expect. I don't want to kind of jump into something and end up really regretting it, so that's why I'm not attacking any of the other factions just yet. Until I know I'm in a very strong position, I'm not going to chance attacking the Saxons, nor am I going to chance attacking anyone else. And the Vandals have got the perfect position, withholding taxes. Who is withholding taxes? I will talk them down first, but then, you know, afterwards I will send some troops and be like, yo, what are you doing with my money? Right, I'm going to have to... They're the Franks. Oh, yes, of course. Do we have any... Do we have any non-aggression packs with the Franks? No, they don't. They are trading with the Western... They're trading with the Western Romans. Ooh, son of a bitch. Well, I am going to send a host to look at their lands. Sorry, sorry. You have further orders? I don't want to declare war just yet. But, uh... Ah, the Western Roman Empire. Right, okay. What be your... Oh, they don't like me at all, do they? Mm. <laughs> they oh, God. Look at how many factions they're at war with. You see, this is kind of why I don't want to, uh... Go to war with... Oh, what's this? What's this? They are characters... Foreign soil. 64 turns. Okay. And this is the turn where they are, where the where the vandals capture the settlement. I hope. If that's the case, I'm going straight down to capture that location from them. It's like <laughs> nicked it. Right. Will the vandals take Huber's? Oh, what was that? They left it. No, they raided it. They raided it. Ooh. I've got a non-aggression pact with them. Our ancestors have spoken, and they have named you as true friends. Okay, you know what? I'm going to say sod the non-aggression pact. I'm going for them. I feel bad about it, but you know what? Poet of Jürgen has returned. Each stride, each smiled, each murmured. Uh, man could bring power. You set him upon your political opponents to be struck dumb. Right. I'm sorry... Alamans, but I Good and noble friend. What an honor you do break us. come speak so that the spirits can hear your words. Oh, uh, sorry. Ending that and cancel non aggression pact. By the way. Um, we will gladly listen to your sorry. Orders, but do not wrap them in lies. The spirits know truth. Oh. Declaring wars, so shall me after break. They're currently rebuilding. They've taken a shit ton of damage. Oh, you know what? Hang the diplomatic shitness. I'm going to be conquering half of this land anyway. I welcome you, worthy speaker. I listen because you're... <laughs> welcome, worthy speaker. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa! There we go. And they're going to be going after those guys. Hello. Sorry to be a pain, but... Uh... Oh. We can't do that.
You will let me take your settlement then. Really? Really? Well, good, but, you know, shit. What's going on here? Oh, they've taken some serious damage. And the Legio are already on them. Good thing we're not at war with them. Right, well, finally, after what seemingly was a forever... Oh, really? Oh, I suppose because of... Um, Screw it. Oh, brilliant. We can have these guys. And we can have a couple of Germanic bows. Huzzah. And they're way cheaper to get some monitors. Hell yeah. Right. Warriors what what is that update being? Does that mean I can... Sorry, I'm just checking to see if I can update any of my dudes. Because apparently we can. Yes. Well, no, we can't. Right. Ending turn. Oh, hello. Ah, right. Right, okay. What's this? Um, cunning, yes, and commanding. And what's this guy? Oh, he actually can do something. Ah, perfect. What's this? Uh, um, yes, and yes. Oh, I can only have one. Okay. Right, so the next so next actually is my general here then. Poet of Is it do it cost anything? No, we don't. Warriors all for the tribe. Ready for battle. Right. Okay, what I'll do is I'll capture this settlement and then we can totally send Yibor down into attacking. Right, ending the turn. And the game has been saved. So, I'm sorry, Alamance. Has more gone to... F has? Oh, no, they fixed it. Have they actually fixed all of their turf? There's no way they could have fixed all of it that quickly. I know they are damaged. Withholding taxes. Oh, shit. Don't tell me that they're all fixed. Uh, I can't quite auto-resolve it yet, but I can get some ladders. Okay, some ladders. Uh, that'll take three turns. That'll take two turns. That'll take two turns. Right, that should do it. Continue the siege. Okay, what we can do then is get some agricultural stuff sorted. So my general is up for the and able. Ready for battle. The populace is only slightly pissed off. Ready for orders. We are running a bit low on cash. Get a couple Look of. To the defenses. And what's the upkeep on them? Few. Right. Okay. Main siege to them. Can I capture? Oh, no, I can't. Right. Well, finally, we're laying siege to them. I might as well have just attacked when the other guys buggered off. Not entirely sure what's going on with them, but we are capturing this location now. So, next turn. Ooh. I hear something. Something happened. No, they just fixed shit again. What the Christ? I don't understand. Why is it they're fixing when I'm laying siege to them? Your family's political power is determined by two factors. I need to have influence, and I don't, apparently. Right. Can I capture this settlement, please? Two! Yes, I can. Right. I outnumber them by a shit ton. I also have ladders, which is nice. Uh, wall strength 76. Place. 
Arcades. Right, so, we shall descend into the fields of metal. And we shall capture this hopefully damaged settlement. Well, their infantry at least are damaged. Right, so we've got a couple of avenues worth of areas, which is nice. I have got archers, so what I'll, what I'll do is I'll probably get the young blood guys out onto the top of the walls, wherever there is any, and then I'll pursue them, I'll follow them in with some um, club guys, and then afterwards I can just proceed further into the town, capturing whatever. I mean, that said, there is very, very little resistance. I mean, not only are they a very few in number, but they've already taken some damage, so this is kind of good. Um, I might keep my general slightly further away just so that way there's no risk of them getting killed, though. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I might even commit the, um, the bards to either defend the town or I'll send them over to my other guy, the Yibor, so that way we can happily capture and defeat our foe. Right. So we will go dry. Remember that the goal. Yes, we know the goal. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look, dude, check out the city and how badly buggered it is. Look at that. Very impressive. This was one of the reasons why I just love this new version. It's so good. It's like a part of the settlement has been taken, already taken, has taken damage. You're like, oh, it's so good. Right, so who has the things? Ironically, all of the people I want, which is fantastic. Oh. Oh, wow, they can actually get closer as well. Nice. Dude, those swordsmen are ridiculous. Right, well, you are, technically speaking, not really inclined to do anything. You guys... I don't really know what you guys can do, but I think... There isn't any towers nearby, are there? No, the towers are gone! Fantastic! I can position them wherever the hell I want. Yeah, I'll just take the front walls then. Fantastic, right. Spearmen shall be behind these guys, setting up a def defensive line. Archers shall have flaming shot, because unless they've changed it, no they haven't. The flaming missiles should be fine. The rest of the... The rest of the standard swords infantry... Who is that then? Ask my general. General shall be here. You as well. I oh, know you'll just be there. Cavalry. Boom. It is useful to put units into loose formation. Not where there isn't any towers. Expect the hard battle for us. They will not let us take their last refuge without getting as good as they get. But we love a good fight. Let us strike fear. Give them the depths they desire. The enemy has been sighted. That's another cool feature that you, that which actually was nice, is that you actually get female soldiers as well, which is nice. So anyhow, wiser men would flee before our numbers. Anyway. Uh, let's have a look, see, so... Right, yes, we're just going to advance up towards the line. Archers, let us position ourselves as such. You guys can reposition yourselves as such. Spearmen, move out. You guys behind them. Skirmishers can move into position and take some take some preliminary shots. GG. Oh, they use flaming shots as well. Well. No! 
see what we can do with these guys. Hopefully, we're going to do some damage enough. So, who are these guys? They are damage wise 35. These guys 53. Holy shit. Germanic hunters are really nice. Oh, they're already breaking. That's fantastic. Relocate my general. Get my other dudes into position. You guys, withdraw. You've done enough. Well done. Okay, bows. Cease fire. Taken 71 fire damage, gotta be careful. Right, you guys, out of that area, relocate.